Well, power has shifted in the state legislature with Democrats taking control of the Senate today. Political reporter Jessica Arp tells us what it means and what could get done this year. Well, it's questionable whether anything can really happen before the November elections as the legislature isn't scheduled to be in session, but Democrats are making that their first issue as they take control of one house. In a largely ceremonial session. Mr. President, is my president to nominate Senator Fred Risser as president of the Senate. All right. Democrats took control of the Senate chamber from Republicans, at least until January. People looking for jobs need us to do our job. They shouldn't have to wait until next year. With their one vote majority, they're calling on the governor or Republican lawmakers to call a special or extraordinary session before the fall elections to pass a four point plan they say would help create jobs, including job training funding and increased borrowing for public works projects. We outlined what we think it has an opportunity for some short term benefit to be able to get people back to work soon. And I think that's in the six months that's rest of, that remains in this uh, biennium, is that's what we should focus on. It's a little dis ingenuous now to uh, take over the house. We're, we're in the middle of campaign season and say we want to come in and work on jobs now. Uh, doesn't seem to have passed the smell test to me. Republicans call the move political theater and say a special session is unlikely. Can you talk to the governor's office? Can both houses continue to communicate? Absolutely. But I just, I mean, I'm being realistic. I just don't see that happening right now. Speaker Fitzgerald charged today that if Democrats were serious about jobs, they would come into session to pass the Assembly's version of the mining bill. Miller said they were looking forward and wanted to deal with measures that could pe put people back to work immediately.